My waist too small, my face too cute, my game too strong, your man too close, he on my phone, about these bills, put mommy on the phone, he ain't never coming on, look, I'm about to go in, I'ma get inside, he bitch your head like a sewing, I'ma lace the track in the front, make it blend in, pull that shit back so the glue ain't sh cancer thank you for stopping by what's the deal we're gonna talk about your life for the month of march seeing what's going on with you okay peeking inside your diary type shit thank you for all the uh continue likes subscribes comments views uh tips all that i really appreciate it um i am open for bookings my pricing and contact information is in the description box down below all other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section please make sure that you are liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you want to i would appreciate it okay my socials are on the screen for your viewing pleasures go follow them all the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section cancer we have already pulled the zodiac signs to see what placements you guys might have, who could be around you during this time, uh, who the messages in this reading could be about. And we've already pulled your overall energy for the month of March. Let me tell you something. One of the best combos is some fruit and some water, bitch. You just feel like a strip of, of peppermint gum, bro. A spearmint. It's still so fresh and revitalized, okay? Don't mind my munching as I do it, right? So, here's the zodiac signs that I pulled. We have Panther, we have Sagittarius, we have Leo, and then we have Aquarius showing up on the bottom of the deck. So, I don't know how you feel about an Aquarius. Let me just say that. There could be uh, one around you in some um, sort of way, shape, form, or fashion, whether you fuck with them or not. We pull Cancer. So that means that you can have any placement of the zodiac sign of Cancer. And some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. There could also be some messages for you in the Sagittarius, Leo, maybe Aquarius monthly reading. We're getting those done. All right. Your overall energy for the month of March is spiritual test. Okay. So this for me is feeling like you're in the energy of being challenged to make better decisions, become a better person, um, move move and shake in a better way all right with freshen up showing up on the bottom of the deck so you could be um being challenged to i'm hearing like take better care of yourself prioritize yourself um contribute equal time effort and energy towards um the different departments or categories in your life okay so this for me don't pick at the doodles i'm low-key an artiste all right you see the barbershop pole, right? That's supposed to be hair, fingernails, laundry, and rinse. <laughs> so, like I said, this is like your day-to-day -day routines. This is um, keeping yourself looking, you know, well, um, I was about to say well nourished, well manicured. Um, washing your eyes, washing your hair. Um, keeping your house clean, keeping your house in order, taking care of your responsibilities, okay? It's kind of like that whole reset that most people usually do on Sundays where, you know, that's their laundry day, that's their cooking day. Um, some people, you know, have errand days. So, yeah, like I said, you could be, um, being, like I said, uh, facing, well, I don't want to say facing challenges, but you're in this space of, Um, being tested, like I said, regarding putting equal effort, energy, and time toward different aspects of your life. Let's start uh, pulling some cords, baby. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Cancer Zodiac in the month of March of 2024? The year gonna fly by, bro. Also, real quick, I heard this before I started recording. Cancer, some of you guys might be, you know, making birthday plans. Remember, I said you could have any placement of cancer. So, you don't just have to be a cancer to be thinking about what you want to do for your birthday. Did y'all see that? I hope you did. And if you did, you did. It's some juicy fruit here. Um, But like I said, you don't have to be a cancer in order to, you know, be thinking about, you know, birthday plans. You could be, you know, Aquarius season and plan, uh, then pass. But you could be a Leo. You could be a Sagittarius, maybe. But some of you guys might be thinking about what you want to do for your upcoming birthday, okay, in the month of June and the month of July. First card out, 
first day out we have the world card so we got our first placement of cancer showing up we have saturn in cancer check the chart baby check the chart with eight of pentacles showing up on the bottom of the deck now the world card can represent growth evolution completion eight of pentacles is showing up on the bottom of the deck some of you guys are reaching the end or goal line in regards to certain goals in your life during the month of march so this is you know somebody graduating this is someone uh leaving a job this is someone um checking off one of their um like i said goals that they have eight of pentacles is out here so this could be pertaining to money so we have the eight of pentacles seven of pentacles and the tower um uh, this could be someone here could be saving up money for repairs. Um, somebody here could be getting out of a bad financial situation. So this for me could be, you know, getting caught up on bills. This could be paying off a certain debt, paying a certain fine, a certain penalty. Some of y'all need to be careful. It's just nasty. At least I ain't got no mic on. Cause you know I'm a lady. <laughs> Why I laugh at that's fucking funny. I am. I'm classy, bitch. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Tower. Be careful about not noticing when you're done with something. You've outgrown it. It's done. It's time to let it go. You ready for the next level, a new level. Some of y'all, it's a job situation. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Tower card. You're wasting your time here. I don't want to say that. That's too harsh. But I feel like some of y'all have outgrown a certain job situation. Um, It could be a type of job. It could be um, like the type of job that you do. Like this is someone who's working in retail. This is someone that's working in finance. This is someone that's working in hospitality. Um, This for me is, you know, just outgrowing just a, just a you know, regular, regular job. You know, it doesn't have to be the type of job, but it's just, you know, you no longer belong here. Not in a rule way. It's just with the world card, you're growing, you're expanding, you're evolving. And this is kind of, you know, I heard it. This is kind of below your tax bracket. It's below your pay grade. It's like you could be getting paid way more somewhere else. U utilizing all your talents. Or, like I said, some of you guys need to just be careful about still operating in madness, still operating in chaos. This could be something personal with the way how you move and how you shake. Or this could be you uh, contributing to a certain situation where it's like bow out gracefully while you can. The Tower card is never never an easy situation to go through. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Cancer Zodiac in the month of March of 2024? I just it never sits well with me seeing this now i will say i like the fact that the world card is before this card but still we have the five of pentacles ugh. with the five of cups ugh. but some of y'all this could uh point to like a state of mind it doesn't really have to be with money and finances what it could be but some of y'all this uh refers to a certain state of mind a certain situation that you feel like you're in or currently going through world card and the five of pentacles some of y'all don't belong somewhere anymore it makes you feel horrible five of cups you know i be talking bitch you know the cards be i'll be reading the fuck out these cards come on chariot that's you with the five of cups some of y'all it's time to move on from something that you don't feel welcomed you don't feel valued you don't feel appreciated five of pentacles and the five of cups this for me is someone that's like well i don't know where else to go anywhere but here not anywhere not anywhere, but where you're at currently, you cannot be at anymore. Five of Cups, look what it's doing to your mental health. Look what it's doing to you as a person. You used to be so, 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 so on the move. Now you're just sitting down, depressed. No disrespect. But some of y'all, um, because the world card is the first card, maybe some of you guys have, you know, done this. You realize it's about a certain situation with the world card. You made a big change in your life some sort of way. You have relocated. You have quit a job. You have finished school. You have started a life for yourself in some sort of way, right? Um, so now with the five of pentacles, you're starting to easily recognize when you don't want to be in certain spaces anymore because it's not good for your health, your physical, your spiritual, your emotional, uh, health. Mm hmm. Don't ignore the pain. Okay. 
Two of Swords, Nine of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Six of Cups. This for me is, you know, someone here trying to be like, oh, nah, it ain't that bad. It's like trying to downplay a certain situation. There's no bueno power to Six of Cups because you're used to it, because you're familiar with it, because it's comfortable for you. For some people, this is a certain connection with someone. Um, who could it be? Um, it could be an air sign, Aquarius and Libras out here. It could be a fire sign, Sagittarius is very strong out here. It could be a fellow water sign like a Scorpio. Maybe some cancers have already moved on from this. You know, girl, not looking back type shit. Whoever you moved on from, whatever kind of connection it is. Still stuck in their ways. You are still the villain. You are still the problem, right? But why do they... Why? Oh, Lord. It's like, but why do they feel so guilty? Why do they feel so shameful? Why do they feel so regretful, so remorseful? If you was the problem. All right. Why? Did, that'd be certain shit I'd be wanting to say out loud. It's like, why are you revealing that? You know, somebody need to beat that information out of you rather than you just offering it up. See, shit like that. Why would I say that? But that's what I was thinking. Swear, guys. What's happening to the Kansas Zodiac in the month of March in the year of 2024? I be a little bit unhinged sometimes, and I'm not on nothing. Okay, so people might be like, are you uh, affected? Are you under the influence? No, that's the scary part. Ten of Wands. <clears throat> With the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Underworked. Oh, wait. Up, overworked. Underpaid. Undervalued. Disrespected. Why the fuck am I still here? We're all cars. Some of you guys are noticing that about a certain situation around you. Or you have been noticing that about certain situations around you. And you are outgrowing the room. You busting out the seams. Now, you know the world is... Some of y'all might have experienced some weight gain as of recently, or you are, okay? Some of y'all are stressed. I'm going to be, I, I I had no idea about that. You know stress can cause weight gain or at least fluctuation in your weight. It's like with the girlies, um, birth control, any sort of shit that they, you know, have us to take as women and it really fuck up our body chemistry, all right? Some of y'all stress is really doing a number on you. Physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, with the world cards, because you have outgrown something in your life that you are still keeping around. Excuse me. Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, some of y'all, it's a job or a financial situation. Look at that. And you can make it happen. That's the crazy part. Not everybody has this ability. Not everybody has this gift. Not everybody has this blessing that you do, Cancer. We didn't see the chariot. Now we seeing the magician. Now we seeing the magician with an ace, the ace of pentacles. Tangible shit. Magician, the ace of pentacles. Some of you guys are able to manifest very easily. Whenever you want something, bitch, it's, it's as easy as you just closing your eyes and be like, you know, abracadabra. Okay? It's, it's, you know? You really can make shit move um, for you. Like I said, some of y'all have been doing that. And some of y'all might still need to uh, realize that about yourself. So, here, guys, what's happening to the Cancer Zodiac in the month of March of 2024? We got another placement of Cancer, Jupiter and Cancer, Will of Fortune. I did say busting out the seams. Like I said, some of you guys might be experiencing some weight gain or you have gained some weight or, you know, just weight gains. Maybe some of y'all in the gym, right? Seeing a little bit of definition, a little muscle, a little tone. Emperor, divine masculine. Hi, boys. But we had divine masculine energy showing up with the emperor. Will of Fortune, yeah, if you don't like your current circumstances, if you don't like your current situation, change it. And we can't. Not all the time. We can't make huge changes instantly. You know, it, it starts small. Let me, um, damn it. What's it, what, what's a uh, fucking, what's an example? Like, let's say you want to get into school. Like, you're trying to get into college. You're trying to get into a certain course. 
you might can't enroll in the course that you want right now because maybe you're still trying to figure out what you want to, you know, be in school for, what you want to get certified for. You got to figure out how much it costs. You got to figure out where you want to go. What's the best option for you? You know, it's kind of like you got to figure out the small compartments before you figure out the big compartments. Good. Four of Cups, Two of Cups. Ugh. Emperor, Justice, and the Four of Pentacles. I don't know if this is for all cancers. But some cancers need to be careful about holding on to somebody to where it's like, for what? Loneliness, boredom, desperation. That's 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 what's coming to mind for me. I don't like that for you, cancers. This ain't all, but it's some. Okay, I do see some cancers doing that. Four of cups, two of cups, five of wands, emperor, just in the four of pentacles. It's like holding on to a certain connection or a person out of those things that I said. Desperation, loneliness, apathy. It, 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 it can't be love. Not if you got the five of pentacles and the ten of wands. Where else I'm going to go? That's what it's giving. Oh, God. I ain't going to say what I just thought about. Um, Some cancers could be doing this with a fire sign. Leo, Aries, and Sag has shown up. Uh, Taurus is very strong out here. We got a little bit of air. They don't miss you till you gone. They don't understand it's not a front until they get in that, that fucking green bubble. Whenever they text you, is it green? Whenever you've been blocked? I don't know. Never experienced that. But <laughs> some of y'all, I feel like somebody here could be missing you in some sort of way. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if they miss you. Rather than the mind control that they had over you, Debo, Emperor Justice and the Four of Pentacles, it's almost like somebody might not miss you for you. They just miss being able to have access to you, okay? And that, you know, kind of implements a form of control. Ah! Spirit guys, what's happening to the Cancer Zodiac in the month of March of 2024? Okay. Another placement of cancer. We have Mars and Cancer. And this is also I the homeboys are big. Even though this is this is a girl, this is a lady, this is a woman in this card, okay? Uh ladies, some of y'all could be on in your go-getter energy. All right, I'm making shit happen around me. Some of y'all, oh Lord, some of y'all are single parents. Not just the ladies, I'm talking to any cancer. Some of y'all are single parents. Some of you guys maintain and sustain a household on your own. Some of y'all are business owners, uh, you know, managers. It's like, this is a one man slash woman band. I do it all. I be on the phone at 6 a.m. Seven of Swords. Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. That's why it's very important for you to realize whenever you are, is it sell, okay, selling yourself short. Hi, guys. King of Cups. Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Cancers. I don't want to say it specifically to men, but there is strong masculine energy out here with this Emperor and this King of Cups. Cancers, men. Um... You need to be careful about not moving forward as it relates to taking care of yourself. Like, oh, girl, I don't want to say nothing to offend nobody. There should be stepping stones in your life. So you shouldn't depend on a certain phase, cycle, opportunity um, for, you know, too long of a time. Like, it should take you to the next level. It should take you to the next step. Like, I'm going to say it. Please, don't get offended because I'm not trying to offend anybody. Like, um, shit, I'll use me as, 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 as an example. One of my first jobs was um, a dishwashing position at a country club. I started working there through a temp agency. And then the country club, the food and beverage director, he had bought me out my contract so I could be an actual employee there. Um... I was able to get paid more. I had better scheduling. He was really looking out for me. Um, what was a man named Benny or something like that? <sighs> he was a great man. Um, I went from doing dishwashing to being a busser to being a server. I didn't want to stay in a, in a dishwashing position. Past a certain point, okay? I didn't want to be bothered. I wasn't the type to, you know, like positions to where I had to be in everybody's face all the time. I just don't like it. I don't really fuck with people like that. I don't mind them, but you know, it's not my strong suit. I don't feel like, right? But he 
he didn't want me to stay in a dishwashing um, position. You know, he said that I had a really great personality and he would have preferred me to be a server. And that's how, you know, I went from being a dishwasher to a buster to a server, right? I wanted that, but I wasn't really, you know, pushing for that. I really, I wasn't really gunning for that. I didn't ask that man to buy me out my contract. He did that on his own. I would have just kept working for the temp agency, taking the, how much? They was paying me like $10 an hour. He he hired me on. I was getting paid like 12 13 that's a jump. And I was fucking 18, 19 at the time, bitch. That's when I had the black Honda coat. Ooh. Bitches was mad. Anyway, he fought for that for me. And I, that, I wasn't even really in that space. I wasn't even really in that realm of, you know, thinking that far ahead. But I should have been. And some of y'all, it's like a situation like that. Like, certain situations or circumstances that you go through should just be a stepping stone for the next best thing for you it's like don't ever get too comfortable all right seven of swords you think you, you taking shortcuts when you really just you know selling yourself short or you really just you know taking yourself back you holding yourself back there could be so much more will of fortune in the world card that you out here experiencing and doing but with the Seven of Swords and Nine of Pentacles, this is like me talking to like my current and my young self. But you selling yourself short. You accepting the bare minimum. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Cancer Zodiac in the month of March of 2024? I don't like this getting a little personal. Chariot, Cancer, that's you, baby. The go-getter, okay? Get out of my way type shit. Ludicrous. Two of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys might be in this space of, you know, let's say you you already in this uh position, right? Um I do see some of you guys trying to catch up on bills, trying to catch up with your expenses, trying to catch up with your finances. Like this for me is, you know, somebody here just started a new job, somebody just got back into school or is in school, somebody here just moved, excuse me, and they're trying to get back to like a space of, uh, you know, what what is this? What am I doing? <laughs> I want to say like a state of balance, you know? And there are some people who know that they are ready to move on from a certain phase or cycle in life. But it's up to them to, uh, you know, I'm here and push the pedal. You know, you've been given the car. <laughs> you've been given the car, bitch. You want us to drive it too? Excuse me. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Cancer Zodiac in the month of March of 2024? Two of Swords. This is being at that fork in the road, right? Should I go left? Should I go right? Especially with the Seven of Cups. Kind of feeling a little bit indecisive about indecisive about certain things in your life. Some of y'all are trying to figure out career-wise where you want to go. Some of y'all are trying to figure out relocation-wise where you want to go. Some of y'all are trying to figure out, you know, just um, furthering yourself as a person. What's my next destination? Which, which way am I going? Be aware, eclipse season does start during this month. So that's why a lot of us are in this almost intense or deep feeling, uh, deep feelings of, you know, girl, I want change. I want big. I want something big, okay? Uh... That's why we had the will of the the will of fortune in the world card showing up in your reading. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Cancer Zodiac in the month of March of 2024? Another placement of Cancer. This is crazy. You got like four placements out here. Mercury and Cancer, the magician to make it happen. Captain Wick. The mystic on the bottom of the deck. High priestess. I said this earlier in your reading, Cancer. Not a lot of people have the gifts and the ability that you do whether it be spiritual or whether it just be you being a very creative um individual a very ambitious individual cherry card not a lot of people have the gifts that you do cancer okay please don't let it go to waste Ooh. The more you do for yourself, the more you are able to do for yourself, some of you guys will find people won't like that about you. Devil, Two of Cups, Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands, King of Swords, and the High Priestess. Now, they might not say it, right? 
Um, but the way people act towards you and the way that people treat you, it's like, you know, you got it. You can take care of yourself. You don't need no help. It's giving that, right? Why that might be true, because the emperor and the chariot card is out here. That don't mean that people should, you know, saddle you with their trauma, with their drama, with the bullshit they going through. They got you doing all the heavy lifting just because you can. You got to cut niggas out. That's like the ace of swords. Some of y'all have been doing that. Some of y'all have done that with an earth sign, Virgo. Taurus and Capricorn is out here, but out in your reading, you actually have Taurus and Virgo. Maybe Capricorn because the world card is out here. We have fire out here, Aries, Sagittarius, and then we have this Leo card. And then we have air, Aquarius, and Libra. Almost every goddamn body out here. Let's say definitely a fire and an air sign, a fire or an air sign. King of Swords and the Queen of Wands is out here. I told you I don't know, you know how you feel about that Aquarius. Here, okay. It's almost like experiencing a little bit of envy from people because, you know, you can do it on your own. It's like, what niggas expect you to beg? Yes. Spirit guys, <laughs> people expect you to be needy, de dependent. Last card, not independent. Uh, what, what's the uh, what, what's going on with the Cancer Zodiac? What's happening to the Cancer Zodiac in the month of March of 2024? This is your last card. How are we ending at? With money. Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. Now, I do see that some of you guys definitely want to make big changes as it relates to your financial situation, whether it be um, getting into school, starting a business, um, you know, career. But I see that with the Two of Swords, some of you guys are just trying to, you know, figure out, you know, left or right. Like, what, what direction am I going in during this time? What type of business? What type of school? What type of job? Um, and some of y'all I'm hearing are just now starting now. So this is someone who has their first apartment, their first house. They're living on their own. They're balancing school and work, okay? It's like a new level of independence, independence that some people are, you know, being parents are experiencing during this time, right? I mean, I feel as though you're trying to get situated, okay? Two of Swords, Emperor, and Ten of Wands. You're trying to figure out budgets. You're trying to figure out how to manage your expenses, what, you know, your money should be going towards during this time. It's really the life of adulthood. Like, some of y'all are, you know, really old. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Nah, some of y'all are like, oh, my God. It's You just woke up mature out of nowhere. Life hit you fast, baby. Cancer. This was your March monthly reading. You could have Saturn, Jupiter, Mercury, or Mars and Cancer. And some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. Like the video, subscribe to the channel.